sweet potato on lead, singing with the voice of an angel, Mirabelle. I never thought that I would get the call to be a sweet potato, so this is just something else. I mean, this is a big deal. Mm. I think everyone knows the story of Beauty and the Beast. It is such a classic story. And so I was really excited when I read the script for this VeggieTales movie. They kind of played off of the Beauty and the Beast. Oh no! Eat my roses? Eat my roses? How dare you! Ugh! What a beast. It's beat. To be the voice of a character in an animation is not as easy as it looks. Guys and shine, Veggie Tones. We've got work to do. When you're behind a mic, it's important that you kind of exaggerate a little bit more so than what you would in a normal conversation. You kind of have to make this character come to life. You really have to play up your voice and the character. If you feel like you sound a little silly, then you're probably doing it right. I love singing. You should try it sometime. It's a musical, so the music needs to be great, you know, and memorable. I think that's one of the best things about animation films is when the kids can sing along. And even as an adult, you still find yourself singing along. You get those tunes stuck in your head. I can go without water or food. I will say that five servings of you per day, <laughs> I was thinking that in the shower, driving in the car, putting my makeup on. I definitely got a few funny looks from my band members when we were doing sound check the other day, getting ready for a show, and I just start singing, five servings of you per day. You know, I just, they're like, what are you singing about? I'm like, this is my new single. I told you we should depict a different song. These VeggieTales songs, they're very catchy and they're fun. But still, at the end of the day, there's a message and moral behind the song. And you can feel comfortable with your kids wandering around the house singing the lyrics. La, 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 la. La, 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 la. Whoa, little lady. Surely you don't have to haul your own gear, do you? I know. I just thought the boys could use a hand. Talented and a heart of gold. I think Mirabelle and I, we do have some similarities. I think we both got a little bit of sass. And I think we're strong, but we're a little sensitive too. One thing that I admire about her character, she has a lot more patience than I have. And I love the grace that she has for the angry little beat. Okay, but I'm here if you need me. Stop being so sweet! I mean, everyone knows it, and that's why I get one star. Don't you get it? Yes, you are me. You're nasty, impatient, and you push everyone away. Then why are you so nice to me? Because I'm not perfect either. But God loves me anyway. I'm just showing you that same love too. I think it's important that we learn to have an unconditional love for people. Every day we ask for forgiveness and we ask for God's grace. And I think it's so important that we try to do that with one another as well. There's things I've said that I shouldn't have said and things I've done that I shouldn't have done. And, and I ask for forgiveness. We all deserve to be given a chance. Maybe Mr. Beat just never had anyone show him any kindness. Who would do that? God would. There's so many different people in the world that come from so many different walks of life. And at the end of the day, we all need to be loved and we all deserve to be loved. And we all wanna be loved, bottom line. We all wanna be accepted for who we are. You saved me, Mirabelle. <laughs> You're the one driving the snowmobile. Uh, no. I didn't deserve it, but you've been kind to me. Even though I was so rude to you, to your family. I, I don't know how, but... Uh, you are welcome, Finnegan. I think this is such a sweet, beautiful story, and I think it's a very clever way of getting this message out. I'm really excited. I really am. I think it's beautiful. <laughs>